Hi everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So before we talk about the components that connect to the ductwork in the system, I want to take a moment to talk about constant air volume, CAV, and variable air volume, VAV systems. So today's video is the difference between CAV and VAV systems. Constant air volume, CAV, and variable air volume, VAV, systems are basically what they sound like. Constant air volume systems supply constant airflow, and variable air volume systems supply varying airflow. To understand this, let's look at the load equation. Q equals 1.08 times CFM times delta T. So from the load equation, the load in the space that you need to offset with your HVAC system to maintain comfort, Q, is equal to 1.08, which is a constant for sea level buildings, times the volume of airflow, CFM, times the difference in temperature between the supply temperature and the temperature you want the space to be, delta T. In a VAV system, CFM changes to handle the load. In a CAV system, temperature changes to handle the load. So for easy math, let's say that we have a load in the space of 10,000 BTU. In a VAV system, delta T is typically 20 degrees Fahrenheit based on a 75 degree space temperature, which gives you a 55 degree supply air temperature. So now we can calculate how much CFM we need, where CFM equals Q divided by 1.08 times delta T. So that gives us 10,000 BTU divided by 1.08 times 20, gives us 463 CFM. So this holds true for our constant volume and variable air volume system, but what happens if we increase the load to 12,000 BTU? So now on our variable air volume system, we need to go calculate CFM again. So CFM equals 12,000 divided by 1.08 times 20, and that equals 556 CFM. So we need 556 CFM in this system to handle the 12,000 BTU load. So now let's look at the constant air volume system. In this system, the airflow is constant, so the CFM is still 463, so we need to calculate the delta T to handle the load, which is 12,000 divided by 1.08 times 463, and that equals 24 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we want to have a space that is 75 degrees, then a 24 degree delta T means our supply air is 51 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's put this on the variable volume side. The space temperature is 75 degrees and the supply air temperature is 55 degrees. So your home HVAC system most likely is constant air volume. You turn the temperature of the air up or down to be comfortable. This also works okay on small single zone buildings. When you get to multiple zones that have different loads, constant air volume can be an issue. So let's say you have a building with some offices on the perimeter like this. In the morning, the sun comes up on one side of the building, so these offices on this side get warmer. If you have a constant air volume system, and you put the thermostat somewhere over here to make these people comfortable, it'll overcool the people on the other side of the building. As the sun moves over the building to the other side, it will have the opposite problem, or if the load varies throughout the day for any other reason. Overcooling also wastes energy. This is why VAV systems became popular in the 1970s energy crisis. They allow you to supply just enough cooling to a zone based on its particular load. Today, most buildings are VAV systems. These systems not only have VAV boxes controlling each zone, which we'll cover in next week's video, but they also can have the ability to modulate the airflow from the air handlers so that the entire system can react to load conditions in the building. So there you have constant air volume versus variable air volume. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.